Welcome to Cyber World YT. Like and subscribe if you are new here. Also follow me on Instagram for in case of any queries. Today, we're diving into the top 10 exploiting tools in Kali Linux that every hacker must know. These tools are essential not just for the black hats out there, but for anyone interested in cybersecurity, ethical hacking, or even just understanding how to better protect their own systems. We're going to be taking a look at some seriously powerful software that can be used for everything from penetration testing to vulnerability assessments. Think of it like learning how to pick a lock. You don't have to be a criminal to appreciate the skill and knowledge it takes, right? So, whether you're a seasoned security pro or just starting out on your cybersecurity journey, this video is for you. We'll be covering each tool in depth, showing you how it works, and why it's an essential part of any hacker's toolkit. Let's get started. First up, we've got the big dog, the tool that's practically synonymous with ethical hacking, Metasploit Framework. Metasploit is a penetration testing framework that provides you with an arsenal of exploits, payloads, and auxiliary modules to target systems, networks, and applications. It's like a Swiss army knife for ethical hackers, offering a tool for almost every stage of the penetration testing process. Need to scan for vulnerabilities? Metasploit's got you covered. Found a weakness and want to exploit it? Metasploit's got your back. Metasploit allows you to create your own custom exploits and payloads, making it incredibly flexible and adaptable to different scenarios. It's constantly updated with new exploits and features, so you can be sure you're always on the cutting edge of cybersecurity. So, whether you're a beginner or a pro, Metasploit is an absolute must-have in your ethical hacking arsenal. Metasploit is powerful, but intimidating with its command line options and jargon. That's where Armitage saves the day. Armitage provides a graphical front end to Metasploit, making it easier to visualize targets and launch attacks. Imagine a digital war room to map out your attack strategy and launch exploits with a click. Scan networks, identify vulnerable hosts, and launch exploits within an intuitive interface. Let's move on to something a little different. We've talked about exploiting systems and networks, but what about web browsers? That's where Beef, the browser exploitation framework, comes into play. Beef allows you to explore the security posture of web browsers and the systems they're connected to. Beef can be used to test the effectiveness of security controls, identify vulnerabilities in web applications, and even educate users about the dangers of phishing and other browser-based attacks. One of the coolest things about Beef is its ability to create hooked browsers. Essentially, this means that once a user visits a website that's been rigged with Beef, you can then control their browser remotely. So, if you're interested in web application security, browser exploitation, or just want to see how easily your browser can be manipulated, Beef is definitely worth checking out. Let's talk about databases, specifically how to find and exploit vulnerabilities in them using a nifty tool called SkullMap. SQL injection is a technique that allows attackers to inject malicious SQL code into databases, potentially giving them full control over the data stored within. SkillMap is an open-source penetration testing tool that automates the process of detecting and exploiting SQL injection vulnerabilities. With SkillMap, you can scan websites and web applications for SQL injection vulnerabilities, retrieve data from the database, and even modify or delete data if the vulnerability is severe enough. It supports a wide range of database management systems, including MySQL, Oracle, PostgreSQL, and Microsoft SQL Server. It also comes packed with a ton of features, making it a versatile tool for both beginners and experienced penetration testers. SQLMap is surprisingly user-friendly, with a simple command line interface and a comprehensive help menu, so if you're looking to dive into database security, SQLMap is a must-have tool. You found a vulnerability, you know it's exploitable, but where do you find the right exploit code? Let me introduce you to the exploit database and its trusty sidekick, Searchsploit. The exploit database is a massive online repository of publicly available exploits, shellcode, and security papers. Searchsploit is a command line tool that lets you search the exploit database directly from your terminal. With Searchsploit, you can search for exploits by CVE number, platform, application, author, and a whole bunch of other criteria. It's incredibly fast and efficient, saving you valuable time and effort. Searchsploit is pre-installed on Kali Linux, so you can start using it right away. Just open up your terminal, type in Searchsploit followed by your search query, and boom, you'll have a list of relevant exploits at your fingertips. So, whether you're a seasoned penetration tester or just starting out, the Exploit Database and Searchsploit are essential tools for anyone interested in cybersecurity.
Let's talk about sniffing out credentials because passwords are the keys to the kingdom. That's where Responder comes in, capturing those precious credentials. Responder mainly focuses on Windows environments, taking advantage of protocols like LLMNR and NBTNS. These protocols are used for name resolution and service discovery, but they can also be abused to trick users into handing over their credentials. Responder acts as a rogue server, listening for requests on the network. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Use Responder ethically and responsibly. Let's face it, passwords are often the weakest link in the security chain. That's where John the Ripper comes in, a password cracking tool that's as legendary as its namesake. John the Ripper is a fast and flexible password cracker that's available for multiple platforms. It's designed to test password strength and identify weak passwords that could be vulnerable to brute force attacks. John the Ripper uses a variety of techniques to crack passwords, including dictionary attacks, brute force attacks, and rainbow table attacks. It can even be customized with your own word lists and rules to improve its cracking speed and efficiency. So whether you're a security professional, a system administrator, or just someone who wants to make sure their passwords are up to snuff, John the Ripper is an essential tool to have in your arsenal. It's a powerful, versatile, and surprisingly user-friendly tool that can help you stay one step ahead of the bad guys. Let's shift gears a bit and talk about a different kind of hacking social engineering. Sometimes, the easiest way to breach security isn't through technical exploits, but by exploiting the human element. And that's where the Social Engineering Toolkit, or SET, comes in. SET is a Python-driven suite of tools designed to make social engineering attacks a breeze. It provides a framework for creating phishing pages, crafting malicious emails, and generating payloads that can be used to trick unsuspecting users into giving up sensitive information. SET comes packed with a variety of attack vectors, from spear phishing campaigns to fake website generators. You can create convincing phishing pages that mimic legitimate websites, complete with fake login forms and malicious links. So whether you're a penetration tester, a security awareness trainer, or just someone who wants to learn more about the art of human hacking, the Social Engineering Toolkit is an essential tool for understanding and mitigating social engineering risks. Let's talk about web servers, the backbone of the internet. These servers host websites, applications, and all sorts of sensitive data, making them prime targets for attackers. And that's where Nikto comes in, a web server scanner that's as meticulous as a detective dusting for fingerprints. Nikto is an open source vulnerability scanner that's specifically designed to find security issues in web servers. It crawls through websites, checking for outdated software, misconfigurations, and known vulnerabilities. Nikto comes with a massive database of over 6,700 potentially dangerous files and programs, 1,250 server versions, and 270 server types. It checks for outdated server software, vulnerable CGI scripts, default files and directories, and a whole lot more. So whether you're a webmaster, a security professional, or just someone who wants to make sure their website is secure, Nikto is an essential tool for identifying and mitigating web server vulnerabilities. It's like having a security audit for your web server, but without the hefty consulting fees. We can't talk about hacking tools without mentioning the granddaddy of them all, Nmap the network mapper. But here's the twist. We're not just talking about basic port scanning. We're diving into the world of Nmap scripting engine, or NSE, which takes Nmap from a port scanner to a full-blown exploitation tool. Nmap allows you to scan networks, identify active hosts, and determine the operating systems and services running on those hosts. But NSE takes Nmap to a whole new level. It allows you to write and execute scripts that extend Nmap's functionality, turning it into a versatile tool for vulnerability scanning, exploitation, and even backdoor detection. So, if you're serious about network security, penetration testing, or just want to explore the full potential of Nmap, the Nmap scripting engine is an absolute game changer. It's a powerful tool that can take your hacking skills to the next level. So, there you have it, folks. The top 10 exploiting tools in Kali Linux that every hacker, aspiring or seasoned, needs to know. From network scanning to password cracking, web server audits to social engineering, these tools provide a powerful arsenal for anyone interested in cybersecurity. Remember, knowledge is power, and understanding how these tools work is crucial for both defending against attacks and ethically testing your own systems. Always use these tools responsibly, ethically, and legally. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on ethical hacking and cybersecurity. Stay safe and happy hacking.